Luca Parmitano and Drew Morgan will be conducting AMS EVA number four, the final EVA in the repair series. Drew Morgan will be the EV-1 spacewalker and riding the SSRMS, the Candid RM-2. Here you see him translating up the Zeta Spur to prepare the Candid RM-2 for the EVA, followed by Luca. The arm will be waiting for them on the front of the truss, and they will set up a WIF extender to extend the reach of the arm, as well as an articulating portable foot restraint that will carry Drew to the AMS worksite. While Drew is ingressing the arm, Luca will collect a bag full of MLI and he will translate out uh, to ELC2 and prepare the worksite and bags and tools for Drew's arrival at AMS. Drew will then fly up over top of the ISS and past AMS to wrap the arm around behind and underneath of AMS to start the leak checks at the Nader worksite, where two fittings will have leak checks conducted. Once Drew is at that worksite, he'll peel back the MLI, exposing two fittings, and use the visual leak indicators to verify that they are leak tight. Luca will meanwhile check six fittings at the VSB worksite, while Drew flies up to the Xena side of AMS to remove the mud flap and the shower cap to expose the AMS new radiator system. Luca and Drew will also work together to install an MLI tent underneath of the AMS pump system to close out the former debris shield worksite. With the eight leak checks and the MLI installed and those are complete, the crew will clean up ELC2 and Drew will start flying back to the airlock while Luca removes the foot restraint from ELC2 and translates it back to the front of the station for future EVAs. Drew will fly from the Xena side of AMS, back over top of the truss, back to phase one to deconfigure the arm. Once the SSRMS is deconfigured and all the bags have been stowed, if the crew has any remaining time, they will um, perform some get aheads, including some lens filter removals and battery get aheads to prepare for future EVAs. <laughs> 